Hey guys, uh, it's George Branch here and welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to be talking about um, how to get those higher 9 to 1 GCSE grades, such as, well, in science in this video. And so I'm going to really talk about, how, oh my god, sorry, excuse me, chair. I'm going to talk about how you don't really need these. You can use them, they're good, they're good for in school, take them with you, that kind of thing, but you know, you can. You're, it's just as good to make your own, so I'm just going to kind of show you an example of how I've done that with my levels so far. So first of all, you just need a book, any book, any book's fine. Uh, what I do, do is, whenever I start a new topic, I'll like underline it, so that's behaviorism there. And then I'll start writing all, everything pretty much that there is to do with that topic that could possibly come up on the spec. So I've got the classical conditioning, loads of notes about that, the limitations and uh, strengths and then operant condition that kind of thing but obviously that would work different for science it would be well it doesn't work different it's just a different topic so you like in biology you have the different topics so you have like kind of, i think you have like the solar system in physics you've got a uh, like your circuits that's kind of that's a big topic that kind of thing so you just split it up into that so you use different colors that's why i have like loads of different colours, they cost nothing from Wilco, like £2, they don't last like 5 minutes but still, you know, they're only £2. Alright, so, yeah, I'm going to move on to the next part of what you need to do and how you get this information because it's a bit of a pain in the ass going through your book and not every you're not always in for every lesson, uh, so you could miss things out. So, I'm going to show you who I use. It's a person, um, oh, I can't even remember his name, but... I'll just call him the free science lessons guy. He's actually amazing, pretty much. I can almost owe half my grade to him because the amount he helped me. So what I'd do is I'd watch one of his videos. They're not that long. Not one of them is longer than five minutes, I'm pretty sure. So I'd watch one of his videos. I'd, I'd that, While watching the video, I'd write notes on it. And I'd do that under each topic. And if you're confused, I'm like, oh yeah, what one do I watch at a time? He's like, make playlists for you to do it so you know like what order to put it in. So see the chemistry paper one that looks quite bulky so <laughs> yeah I'm glad I'm not doing that and then obviously he's got physics and he's got like 30 more playlists it really depends if you're missing something just go on the videos and scroll through until you find it or just type in that and then uh, obviously um, what's the topic uh, yeah, I'm trying to remember a topic so obviously I'll just type in DNA so you see that one there that should be the first video that comes up there DNA on here and then yeah you got loads of loads of videos about DNA and that's one of the first ones to come up so if you just type in any of the topics it'll pretty much come up okay um, alright next you have uh, free science well science and math by promise kitten uh, I'd use her just for science because she does a really good one hour series so type in promise kitten one hour hopefully it comes up no it doesn't uh, so wait I'll just type in One hour. Uh, I've got, yeah, here we go. B1 in 45 minutes. Easy. There you go. So, before you do an exam, watch that. It's pretty good. Like the night before, that's what's in my night before the, the exam routine. I'll probably end up doing that. I'll do that tonight, actually. Alright, yeah, I'm going to do that. Um, okay, finally. Chris Thornton. The only reason I used him is because it's 30 days till May, which... I thought it was kind of a lifesaver for me because, you know, it'd keep me like, you know, a lot calmer because, you know, I'd wake up every morning and get a different tip, like a different tip off him. And yeah, it, it just, it just helped a lot. And, you know, just calm me, just calm me. And then obviously I could count down to the exam season and that kind of thing. And then like, wish you could look, I do little live streams and stuff, but I'm not sure if, I don't think he's active anymore, but obviously you can just rewatch his old videos, which are just as good. Alright, finally, I'm going to go into the last point about science, which really helped me. Well, not last point, second to last point. What I like to do is mind map, mind maps. So if I can find one in my psychology book, because I did this, because it's a social science, so it pretty much works the same. Uh, Alright, I'm getting, I'm getting to it. Here we go, biopsychology. So you see here in green, that is the key points. You do the exact same with like physics, biology, chemistry. And... Uh, Obviously, I just bullet pointed it, 
and you should remember exactly where these points go. It's like I've done four of these, but they're in my psychology folder over there. So I've done four of these and I remember exactly like where they go. So then I can remember like the, all the little bits of information where they go. So genes I know, biological structure, neurochemistry go over there, the phenotype, the way in which uh, genes are expressed through physical stuff. Uh, <laughs> I know that goes like, around here. I know where all, like I can map it out. So when I get into the exam, I know exactly where I can like imagine it in my head and then I can remember. I can remember stuff from it. Uh, okay, and then finally, it was past papers. This is my number one, like, definite, if you're not doing past papers, there's, I don't know what you're doing. There's so many on the AQA website, I've just typed in AQA GCSE Biology, and you've got 2016 all the way to 2014, then you've got the 2014 specimen over there, then you've got, like, all of these new new specimen papers, and then you've got, the, I think there's two more 9 to 1 specimen papers that have just come out. So and that's for each science and each test. So if you're doing triple, that's six papers that have come out per, well, six. Wait, yeah, six. <sighs> I'm getting confused now. Wait, what have I? It's nine, there's nine papers out for you to do if you're doing triple science, so I'm just gonna need it. Wait, two. I'm, okay, don't listen to me. I'm. I'm really getting confused, I don't know why. Uh, there's three, and then there's three, so three times, yeah, it's nine, so there is nine, there is nine. There is nine papers for you to do that are the new spec, and then you can obviously do the old one, because they're not that different. I don't think anything's really been removed. I think it's only stuff been added. So, you know, um, just keep on doing past papers, look at the examiner's report, watch other, like, revision YouTubers, so sort of, even, like, lifestyle ones, like, the revision with Eve and that kind of thing because they do help as well. They're obviously different exam techniques they can use. And instead of just writing the book out like what I've done, you can do the exact same with flashcards because I know that's quite, it's quite a lot. It's quite boring. So far I've done like that much, which doesn't seem like a lot. Well, it seems like a lot, but it didn't really take me too long to do. Yeah, I've got, oh wait, I've, there's still more. But yeah, this is, that's, that's it, that's it. Then I've done my humanistic, uh, this this is how the mind maps should really look. That this one's a lot neater, so make sure you make your mind maps a lot neater. And oh wait, yeah, finally, final tip, final tip. Um, I recommend you get one of these. It's just like a little folder that you can stick sheets in. I recommend you put all your past papers in them, so you can just like go back and look at past paper questions, and it's a lifesaver. Like you don't understand how often I I used to refer back to papers, not even my book, because the papers that I'd, I'd rewrite the answer underneath them if it was wrong like after I've marked it so pretty much most of the questions like I think it's like 70% of the questions are duplicate on the actual exam so I'm not sure how it'll be for the new people like the new spec but that's how it was for me and I'm pretty sure it'll be the same so yeah just keep on doing past paper questions because they do come up and there's only a certain amount of questions you can actually ask so there's that and you're just unlucky that you're the first lot I had the exact same for maths and English and literature, but you guys, you, at least you got it easier for maths, for the maths, uh, literature and English. But anyway, that's it for now. I don't want this video to be too long. Uh, I wish you luck with your Christmas revision, and I uh, hope this helped a little bit. Uh, just remember, you can use flashcards instead of the book, because sometimes it can be a bit easier, because I know a lot of people like to use flashcards. But yeah, that's me done. Uh, bye, like and subscribe.